Yo. Lee. It's been a long time, hasn't it? How are you? Are you doing well out there? I hope you are. Time moves so quickly, huh? It's been two years since we last saw each other. We graduated, moved schools, and drifted away from one another. But I haven't forgotten all the time that we spent with each other. During the onset of senior high school week, I volunteered reluctantly. As one would expect, I was part of the photography division. And our responsibility was to take documentations of the event, hoping to bring back the fire of inspiration, a muse of sorts. I joined. No, I wasn't active either. Not as active as you were at the time. It just felt convenient to be part of something back then. The hallways were narrow and quiet. I pushed through the classroom doors into the workshop, slinging my bag back behind me, slipping the strap of my camera through my hands. As I look around the room, I find you, painting gleefully on your canvas, the fire of your inspiration burning in your eyes as your hands flew to and fro seamlessly, creating a beautiful image. Standing there, I was filled with awe at this beautiful portrait produced right before my eyes. I basked in the moment for a few moments before I decided to take a photo. The memory of the portrait and its painter, fresh on my mind. Later, as I leave, I see the same portrait hung outside in the halls. The same colors, the same emotions put into the form of paint on the canvas. Enraptured, I stand before it and gazed upon it positioning my lens to an angle that could capture its beauty. As I took the photo, I gazed upon the painting again, taking it in all its beauty. At that moment, the only thing that could rip my gaze off of anything and anyone stood by me. What do you think about it? I knew well who that voice came from. You asked a question, and I scrambled to put words together. In panic, I met her gaze and grew speechless. How could be the artist be as beautiful as the art? Paint flew along the canvas with grace, enraptured, approached, and drew up close. Never did I think to see such a face. Her eyes meet, she smiled, I froze. The sunlight seeped the foliage of the garden, falling onto the wings of a blue butterfly intended to photograph. It danced around the flowers, undecided where to land, but eventually it settled in the comfort of a supple flower. Elated, I angled my camera and took a picture of it, and with a flash, a photograph was produced. Satisfied, I went to take another picture, but the butterfly flew away. I turned around to chase it, but instead of the butterfly, I saw you, tiptoeing to reach the same height as me. You asked. What's that? Feeling the rigid make of the camera in my hands and the embarrassment rushing in from the close proximity, I replied without much thought. Oh, um, a camera. Your laugh echoed in the garden and reverberated in my ears. It sounded so genuine and sweet, as if it were a songbird's melody. You then recovered from the laughing fit and in a friendly tone. No, no, I mean, what were you doing around here? Oh, I'm taking pictures. I mean, I like photography and, and writing. That, that probably has nothing to do with me. That probably has nothing Photojournalism? That's so cool. Your eyes sparkled in awe, as if it was the best thing you ever found out about me. But then you stopped for a second, as if wondering. Are you planning on pursuing it in the future? Melancholy and sadness tugged at my heart as I remembered. When my father told me over the dinner table two years ago, with my mother nodding, agreeing at the sentiment, my dream crushed then as I replied, No, I'm taking medicine. My parents insisted on it. Your face contorted from being energetic to feeling pitiful as you noticed my radical shift in energy. 
silence engulfed the air between us, and I only found myself to blame. Wanting to dispel the negativity, you sighed. Let me see, let me see. But still, you smiled. And in a soft, comforting tone of voice, you said, I like your pictures. I felt warmth blossom in my stomach, rushing up until it reached my chest, making my heart beat until it reached my lips and formed a smile. Don't you think it would be a shame if I was the only one to see these? For the first time, it felt like I saw the future that I wanted from her. The pleasure of taking photos, the excitement for its results, all of it. She laid down gently with her words. That, amidst the pressure from my parents and the intimidation of the unforeseeable future, there was she. I saw right through me. A familiar face, a notable voice, a cherry crimson grew upon my cheeks. A reminder of my destiny, my lack of choice. Without her presence, all becomes bleak. Oh, how far we've come. Brought together by form and design. United by shared experiences. With every experience. Every journey. Every moment. It was our passion for the arts that brought us together. But as time went on, the ties that bind me to you drew closer and closer to my heart sat safely inside my chest. Lee, I've only begun to truly understand you, yet it feels like I've spent an eternity with you. How we rushed to catch our way home because we let time get past us, talking each other's head off. How we went to the National Museum, and as I watched your eyes as your gaze glazed over the works of legends. How we'd get drenched in the rain because neither of us brought an umbrella, though we were yet to really learn our lesson. An eternity this all feels like. I can't wait for more eternities with you. In vacant peace, I lie alone. Memories of her quickly submerge. As brights of light in darkness shone. Joyous glee in my heart emerge. Infinity stretches beyond all time. Untainted and pure, like a flower, forever suspended in bloom. I could never forget the moment we met, and all the intricate feelings that you left. Thank you for bringing me along with you, into a beautiful venture on an unforgettable adventure. You've opened my eyes to a myriad of colors and scene, and from the very moment I became witness of that truth, I knew it was a door to something anew. Lee. There is nothing more than I can wish for. May you strive in all the things you seek for. But before this moment passes, there are words needing to be set free. Words stuck inside my throat, begging to be out. I've looked through the lens a thousand times, but this is the one I'm certain of. If your unending grace was a photograph, the only worthy name for it would be The perfect portrait. And though this eternity has been yet sublime, I wish us safety and wellness while our paths align. Mm -hmm.